provide a tool for remedy. Tax form always suggests the use tax form always suggests is being used as a subterfuge to extort money from the people though the income tax scam. The federal tax forms provide a tool for remedy. The federal tax form always suggests the use for extortion of funds from individuals is the form 1040, OMB number 1545-0074, even though upon examination of the Office of Management and Budget, OMB. Congressionally mandated listings of what this form is to be used for show absolutely no applicability to the subject of individual income tax. It is totally purposeless to protest any aspect of the surrealistic income tax scam. The form totally supports your tax position you would be asserting. An example federal tax form 1040 filed for John Q. DOE, all capital letters designates a legal fiction slash trust entity slash fiction, is provided. Notice that the perjury statement states that you have examined the return and accompanying schedules and statements you make, and to the best of your knowledge and belief it is true, correct, and complete. This will work to your favor, as we shall see would protect you. I call your attention to line 21 its attachment, which contains a statement that certain issues were being held by recipients. The eligible issues are the listed items. In the example, the appearance bond for case hashtag CR555555 was listed. Since this bond was issued your identity as the commercial energy backing the bond, even though the appearance bond may have only been posted at arraignment and never actually exercised, this changes nothing in the nature of the bond itself. What is necessary to understand is that the bond is issued, posted, and obtain its value, commercial energy, from the credit slash commercial energy of the actual living soul, the principal creditor that is being involved, compelled, to appear. One may think the appearance bond is worthless document if not exercised to obtain release until trial. But in fact, it is a commercial instrument having commercial value, remember all crimes are commercial, equal to the assigned amount. The prison slash penal bonds. In fact, there also exist other bonds issued in a case, which are so-called penal bonds, consisting of a series of three or six bonds, all having OMB hashtag 9000-0045. It is these bonds, not shown in the example, which are all created behind your back without your knowledge or permission, yet receive their commercial energy from the living sovereign. It is our understanding that these bonds are valued at $2 billion, million, per count, where the counts is the number of counts in the true bill indictment and or the counts of conviction. The first three bonds are the bid bond, SF24, performance bond, SF25, and the payment bond, SF25A. The next three bonds with the same OMB number 900-0045 are the Miller Act bonds, SF273, SF274, SF275, which may or may not apply to a state case as opposed to federal cases. Each bond issued would constitute a so-called roll, so the total sum of all these penal bonds could be three or six times two billion dollars, million, times the number of counts. All these bonds are 1099 OID eligible issues. If you were to also list these as 1099 OID eligible issues, the amounts becomes quite large and the numbers showing up on line 21 and 64 of the federal tax return 1040 would be considerably larger. For simplicity of example, they are not included, only the appearance bond, but can most certainly be included also. The description of these bonds would be all OMB hashtag 9000-0045 bonds for case hashtag CR555555 stay of underscore 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 V, John Q, DOE. In addition to these case-related bonds, one can also include such eligible issues as traffic tickets, commercial bills of any sort, tax bills, court judgments, in fact any and all commercial presentments whether issued to you or by you. Remember, all the products of the economic system are prepaid by virtue of public policy and public law, P.L. 73 to 10, arising out of the necessity of their no longer existing constitutionally authorized money to pay at law with. Once they took away our gold slash silver backing of the currency, that is mandated by our organic constitution in Article 1, Section 10, making it impossible to pay at law for anything, the party, government, that sees the gold most under public policy, pay the bills for us. It is our very inability to pay at law as a result of the executive order seizing the gold in 1933 that gives us the ability slash authority to demand that the items be treated as prepaid.
As hard as this might be to accept because of your brainwashing by the global economy prison you have lived in your entire life. Public policy mandated by 73 to 10, HJR 192, is an irrefutable fact of life, and many thousands of people have known of this reality all along but kept the truth from you. The 1099 OID taxes the eligible issue back to source. All these eligible issues can be indeed processed via 1099 OID filing in order to tax the issue back to the source, ultimately you, for settlement and closing of escrow in exchange, without money, Treasury Direct, SS hashtag, Social Security hashtag. The 1099 OID essentially allows the issuing party to volunteer the issues as to be taxed. These issues were previously in fact delinquent, deferred taxes that had the appearance of being abandoned property in that you never made any claim upon them. Upon identifying the eligible issues, we force these funds to be set aside in essentially a demand deposit account as a federal withholding for recovery as a refund on from 1040 at line 64.